Football icon John Terry called the BBC a disgrace after the organization made fun of Cristiano Ronaldo for missing his penalty kick during Portugal's crushing defeat of Slovenia. With the score tied at zero goals, Ronaldo was given the chance to win the match during an extra-time penalty, but goalie Jan O'Block blocked his shot, Terry openly wrote. This is a disgrace. In response to the BBC's satirical title of the miss, Missiano Penaldo, which infuriated both fans and past England players. After the miss, the star Portuguese player broke down in tears, but he bounced back and scored one of his team's three goals in the shootout, sending them to the quarterfinals of the 2024 European Championship. Pundits are alleged to have been even tougher on players than in prior years, leading some viewers to call the BBC's caption as shameful and unprofessional. Former England captains Gary Lineker and Alan Shearer, who are now pundits on Beeb, were among those who voiced their worries. The three Lions' performance against Slovakia in their most recent game, which Jude Bellingham's equalizer prevented from a loss, did not impress the two. After the match, in which the team advanced to the quarterfinals of the European Championship, Leinker remarked the team looked like lost souls. I look at them right now and I see a team that's like lost souls, he said in an interview with the Rest is Football podcast. They don't seem to truly understand their roles what they're supposed to be doing, or how the team is supposed to play. They have undoubtedly been informed. The question is whether they have accepted it. Most of them play high press, dynamic, electrifying short passing football for their teams, so they're playing in a format or style that's foreign to them. None of that has been viewed by us. I have some sympathy for the players. It's evident that they are giving it their all. They are doing all those things, running, chasing, etc. Despite their apparent lack of focus and effort, they appear a little disoriented. Lanker gave England a bad evaluation after calling their performance in their group stage 1-1 to -one draw with Denmark. S asterisk 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 dot. In response, Harry Kane, the captain of England at the moment, charged that Lanker was purposefully provocative to advertise his podcast. Regarding Lanker's criticism, Southgate stated, I am oblivious to it. I really don't care about it. What matters to me is that I have to firmly lead this group of players over the tournament's terrain. After Jude Bellingham's man-of-the-match performance against Slovakia, he responded to the rubbish aimed at England. In an apparent jab at England's critics, the Real Madrid player also shared a well-known quotation from former U.S. President Theodore Roosevelt on Instagram following the match. The statement said, It is not the one who counts, nor the one who shows the strong man where he falters or where the one who performs the deeds could have done them more skillfully. The man whose face is smeared with blood, sweat, and dust genuinely is in the arena, and he deserves all the glory. Angry supporters caught wind of the BBC's insulting caption that made fun of Ronaldo's performance this evening. People preach about men's mental health then laugh at Cristiano Ronaldo for displaying emotion in a crucial moment under tremendous pressure. Then the BBC make fun of him as Mischiano Penaldo. One person posted on social media that he should be commended greatly for coming forward to score during the shootout. Another person commented, BBC Sport is utterly disgusting. You should feel embarrassed by your lack of professionalism. A third person said, Missiano Penaldo. You cannot persuade me that this is not a BBC account trolling on Twitter. I never wanted to witness the game I love become into the tic-tuxation of football punditry. Given that John Terry also missed a significant penalty while being observed by the entire globe during his career, it is understandable why the caption infuriated him. When he faced Ronaldo's United in Moscow in 2008 with the chance to win the Champions League, the former Chelsea captain memorably slipped and struck the post. Terry was brought to tears by the miss, much like Ronaldo was the night before. One user demanded a pay increase for the individual who submitted the caption. Give this person a raise, and their own show, someone wrote. And one more user wrote, Glorious ahahaha. Ah, ah. Portugal has advanced to the tournament's round of eight, where they will play France. In the penalty shootout, Ronaldo's team scored all three of their attempts while Portugal's Diogo Costa saved three attempts from Slovenia. When I think about my family, I feel emotional because they are unique moments, which I can't convey in words. They are people I like, supporters who are always with us and especially with me and I am very glad about it, Ronaldo stated, speaking about his emotional reaction following the match. You can't be afraid. 
I've never been afraid to face things head on. Sometimes I get it right, sometimes I don't, but you'll never hear my name giving up. He continued, aside from his performance in the shootout, Ronaldo, who is competing in his record-breaking sixth European championship, has not scored at the competition. Portugal defeated Georgia before defeating Czechia and Turkey to take first place in Group F.